Hey you guys, it's Kika, your lifestyle blogger. Doing a quick video just to give you a little bit of an update on what's happening with the second cabin. It has been a whirlwind of ups and downs with trying to get this cabin on the land. So I wanna warn you guys, anybody that is looking to put a mobile home on your land and use it for a cabin, there are some ups and downs that you're gonna go through. First of all, moving it is an entire fiasco in itself because you know there's cost involved if it's an older mobile home a lot of times mobile home movers do not want to touch those because of different reasons and stipulations and then you have the dot um, restricting kind of where the route that you take and then certain routes require front and back escorts so that entitles is will cost you more money if it is a mobile home, having it inspected because sometimes the siding might come off on the road, so they want to secure the siding and everything else before they move it. And then when it does get to the land, I'm told by my electrician, sometimes the electricity has to be entirely rewired because the way that the regulatory um, had it back in those days, um, it is not up to date or up to code for how we do things today. So all of that I have went through and it has been a whirlwind of a lot of stress, just trying to find a mover that will move it. And then when I found the mover, all the things that we have to do in order to move it. So in this segment, you're gonna see some videos. First of all, the land is all finished and ready for the mobile home move. We laid the tarp this weekend, so I'll show you some video footage from that. Second of all, I'm taking a day off this week because they said, where this mobile home is, the whole forest kind of grew up around it. So we have to clear a path so that the semi-trailer can get in to get the mobile home and move it out. So we're gonna have to cut trees, brush, branches. And my son and I have done this before because when we worked on the first cabin, we had to clear the entire land. So we're confident that we'll be able to at least be able to clear the path to get our mobile home out. So we're gonna do that on Thursday. I'm gonna take the day off. I'm gonna show you some video footage from that. So. Keep watching, more video footage coming up. I'm out here. This is where the new cabin spot's gonna be. It's all ready to go. We have the tarp laid out. We have everything ready for where the garage is gonna go. And I'm walking on the driveway. So, and then through the woods there is the other cabin. But we're gonna drive over. So. Anyway, keep watching. More video footage coming up. Proceed to the route. Watch on both sides. Look at these deer. Oh little my little god! Ones Two little ones. I see these deers and they're stupid. There we go. There you go. Look at the That'd be a free shot. So, <laughs> look at down this trap. We're going to cut these trees right here. Lucas! These ones? Wait, what? You posted private properties. Is this man's property? So, which ones do they want us to cut? We just got to make sure they'll be able to get through here. These branches got to come down. They'll be fine. I'll call the man too. Over here. I know he don't want us to climb up and try to cut all that. No, shit. no. Because he can go right through that. That's just gonna break off by its damn self. He said one ones. at the end. These ones all over here, right? We're only really hitting these. Yeah, probably these. Oh, there's even look. Has he been out there cutting? Look like he's been cutting. Maybe he has. Look at these. He wants that one. Oh, on. this stuff right here. These are the ones he took. I think this of, is right? what he's talking about. Yep. He said nothing right here. I think it's these. This shit. This yep. one right here. Whatever this is. So we can get it out. Yeah. This this stuff. And he said that one that's hanging over it, pretty much. Yeah, see, that shouldn't be a problem. He shouldn't have to cut that either. This tree right here. That's well, we're out here, you guys. Cutting back some trees, but when we came, we noticed this whole area had been cut. 
So what we're trying to do now is just kind of make a path. We're going to cut that big bush. There's a mobile home there. So we cut this bush. We think they'll be able to maneuver around. They have all of this space here. But the path is, is the path. So this is the path where that they got to go down with the mobile home to get it out of this spot. But like I said, the mobile home's right over there, so we're gonna cut that big bush there and then cut back some of those trees so that won't rub up against it. But it looks like this whole area, when we came to look at the mobile home at first, it was all, had, it was all bushes and everything, so that's gone. So we have some room. So we'll see what happens. All right, so we cleared it out. There's the path. We cut this big bush right here out. So they'll be able to turn the mobile room around. And then all this whole area is clear. All right. See you later, mobile home. See you on our land. Yeah, I'm sure it's gonna get up out of here. We can do it. They just might need to move these little log bogs. But they can we'll be here the day they move so we can see what's going on. You sure? Maybe. This is a thin ass path. Isn't it? It's the path that he gotta worry about, not nothing. I else. swear. He said the path's fine though, he can get it through that. He didn't really say anything about the path. He said the tree's hanging over, but whatever. Just get it out. I swear. I'm not worried. I'm the home. I'm not worried about anything. I just need you to get that thing out of there. Good thing it has a metal siding, because if it does hit anything, it ain't gonna do too much to it. 